Hey Libra, alright you guys, we want to get right into your reading. We're going to do a what is coming up for you in love for you and the particular person on your mind, okay? So if you have a fire sign on your mind, this first part will be for you. If you have an earth sign on your mind, the next part will be for you. And then we'll do air signs and then water signs and so on. Um, well, not so on, because four. <laughs> Alright, uh, so if your person is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this part is for you, okay? Spirit for the Libra and the fire sign on their mind. What is coming up in love for Libra and the fire sign on their mind? Could be dealing with an Aries, especially an April Aries. Okay, uh, what's coming up in love for you is like um, celebration and harmony here. Clarify the four of wands, especially if you're dealing with the Aries. So like a birthday is coming up, obviously. Clarify the four of wands for Libra and the fire sign. Upright or reverse. This could also be stabilizing an unbalanced situation. Yeah, two of pentacles reverse. So things could have been rocky between the two of you. There's some kind of stability coming up here. Something to celebrate, something to be happy about. Clarify the four of wands. The star. You're, you're receiving something you want from this relationship with this person. Clip out of four of wands. I see a lot of optimism and happiness on your end. Yeah, I see you. Either you're giving something to this person or you're being open to receiving something from this person. But something looks really good here. Clip out the uh, two of pentacles reverse. The ace of swords. What is the two of pentacles reverse? It keeps talking about something. It's not. It's not tailoring it to something specific. Um, so a lot of you may resonate with this, but it's talking about um, something you want to happen is going to happen. This feels like. Clear that two of Pentacles reverse. Apply to reverse. I get some kind of clarity. Some kind of okay. Something you wanted between you and your person or something, maybe something you wanted to happen or some information you wanted is going to come to light for you in a dramatic way, in a real bold and bright way. Yeah, I wouldn't say dramatic. I would say more bold and bright, um, very clear way. And it's going to stabilize something for you, for you personally. Some kind of clarity you get. What is this Ace of Swords about? What is this about? Yeah, I see it's maybe some kind of really positive news for you. It may, specifically for some of you, it may be uh, having to do with somebody wanting to move forward with you or something that, some kind of road or journey someone may want to take with you. Some kind of movement forward. You're getting some kind of clarity about maybe somebody wanting to move forward with you in a connection. So let's say you're in a relationship. Some of you, this could be you celebrating an engagement, okay, for some of you coming up. Um, but if you are talking to somebody, this could be uh, confirmation that somebody wants to go further with you in this connection. Looks like some, some kind of journey or wanting to move forward with you. Some of you, this could be an actual move. Someone could be inviting you to move in with them, or you could be inviting someone to move in with them. Maybe you were kind of iffy about doing that, um, or about what they might say. And some of you, they may say yes. It's something here that you want that you're going to get. Clear about the star. And because of this, it has something to do with something being going from rocky to really solid. Clear about the star. Or at least more stable. Yeah. Yeah. Some of your wish fulfillment may be that you get to hold on to someone or that they get to hold on to you. Clear about the star. Upright reverse. It's something about some kind of doubt or like uh, overthinking or negative mindset that's going to be leaving you. I get stability. I just get stability. I get confirmation for something that you've been kind of low-key anxiously wanting to know. And you're going to get that confirmation. Clarify Six of Pentacles. Because it's something that's going to be confirmed with you or shared with you. Clarify Six of Pentacles to the Emperor. You have a 444 coming up, so I'm seeing a lot of stability. It's um, getting heavy April um, energy. So this could happen in April. Um, but yeah, why the 411? This has been brewing for quite some time. Clarify Knight of Pentacles. This wasn't just never going to happen. Clarify Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, some of you could be moving in. I'm saying celebrating, like maybe moving in. Some of you, this could also be a reading of an on and off relationship between you and someone um, becoming committed. Committed. Clarify Knights of Pentacles. 
It's a lot of different little messages here. Yeah, I don't think this was just never going to happen. I feel like this was just a like a long time coming or like maybe things were kind of dragging or moving kind of steady. Yeah, why this is all happening is because something is just not over. The things are moving slow, but they're not over. So someone could have doubted um, that things that y'all were gonna break up or you could have doubted uh, someone's return or whatever the case may be. But there's something here about you fearing something being over and why this happening is because it's not over. Clap for night of pentacles. Mm-hmm. For some of you, someone could be coming back around. Something here about someone's return. Clear for Knight of Pentacles. Clear for Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, someone could be slowly but surely kind of coming out of uh, their comfort zone to come toward you. Could be an, uh, an Aries strongly. I get Aries and Sag the most. Actually, no, I get Aries and Leo the most. Um. Yeah, for some, for, but yeah, what's, for overall, what's coming up for you and the person on your mind, this fire sign, is either the two of you moving in, getting engaged, or getting married, or something just becoming committed. But it looks like something to celebrate. It looks like positive times for you, okay? Especially, especially if you had a lot of fears and kind of either on and off, like back and forth, negative negativity, and you know, mind. Uh, how about this? Thought wise, like uh, if your mindset was negative and then positive, if your mind kind of do, does this with this person, especially for y'all, or if the relationship is back and forth and on and off, then this is for y'all, okay? All right, let's get into the earth signs. Spirit for Libra and the earth sign, the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn on their mind. For Libra and the earth sign, what is coming up in love for Libra and the earth sign? What is coming up in love? The Libra and the Earth sign. It's too much. <laughs> like, like three, four cards came out. What is coming up in love for Libra and the Earth sign? Up right reverse. You may have an Earth sign coming back. You might not even be interested in this person coming back. Um, but you do have someone who you may be letting back in or someone's letting you in. Uh, uh, after a period of y'all being separate for a, a long time, clarify five pentacles reversed. I would say months or years. Clarify five pentacles reversed. Yeah, someone's going back. Someone has not a fully emotionally let go. Clarify five pentacles reversed. This could be you that hasn't let go. It's definitely them. One more. One more. Okay. Ten of cups upright. Clear five of the pentacles reversed. Upright reverse. For some of you, this could be a Taurus specifically. One more. Yeah, okay. You, however, are not good. Yeah, you're not going to know if you want to deal with this person or not. Clear five of the eight of cups reverse. Someone's coming back around to be committed. Someone wants to come back around and maybe have children, marry you, whatever the case may be. But... A lot of y'all are like, I don't know. Now, a lot of you, when this person comes back around, oops, sorry, hold on. A lot of you, when this person comes back around, my incense is doing weird stuff, hold on. That wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, when this person resurfaces, I see a lot of you trying to keep them at a distance, keeping them pushed away, keeping them at arm's length, whatever the case may be. Uh, clarify ton of cups. Clarify to a sword. Upper reverse. One more. Queen of Cups. You know what's funny? I think emotionally you low-key want this person. Does Libra want this person? This earth sign? Yeah, you do want them around. I think a lot of you do want to have some kind of connection with them, whether romantic or platonic. Um, a lot of you are going to be finding yourself to be more emotionally invested in this person when they come back than you would like to be. Because in your mind, you're like, I don't know if I should or shouldn't, but in your heart, it's like, I really want to. Clarify to a source. Yeah, a lot of y'all are kind of wanting to entertain this person. I see this person come back in 
to overcome any challenges or obstacles or problems y'all used to have um, and really kind of put some things to rest. But I see you being very defensive in the beginning, but I see you kind of letting it kind of rock after a while and feeling amazing about it. But in your head, you're like, should I feel this way? Why the pentacles reverse? Why is the person coming back around? They'd be kind of low-key longing for you, kind of waiting for you. Clap out three of wands. Why they come back around is because they see a future with you. Why they come back around is because they see marriage and, and children and all kind of really solid things for you. With with you, actually, excuse me. Clap out three of cups. They come back around simply because of that. You've been wanting this person to come back around and um fix something. Clap out eight of pentacles. You've been wanting to repair a, a connection with them. Whether you feel like you should or shouldn't, it keeps teetering back and forth for you on that. You're coming up like you don't know what you should do. But your heart is telling you, yeah, I should. Should Libra take this person back? No. So this is your intuition. Clap out ten of swords. Yeah, your intuition is I think that we told you this. Upright reverse. Yeah, no. I don't, yeah, you shouldn't take this person back. Sorry, Libra. Um, but yeah, well, yeah, this person coming back around because they do genuinely see a future with you. Um, but your intuition may be telling you, hey, I don't think this is a good idea. And your, your mind is like, I don't think this is a good idea. But your feelings are like, I really love this person. I want to be with this person. I feel the same way about this person. But regarding to should you or should you not, I feel like you've already learned certain lessons that you don't need to repeat. I feel like you might end up repeating certain things if you take this person back. So be careful, okay? This person could definitely be a Taurus or a Capricorn, okay? I'm getting Taurus or Capricorn the strongest. Obviously Virgo too, but Taurus and Virgo. So, Taurus and Capricorn, sorry. But heavy on the Taurus, okay? All right, let's get into the air signs. Spirit, what is coming up in love for Libra and the Gemini, Libra, or the Aquarius on their mind? Not you. What is coming up in love for Libra and the air sign on their mind? The Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius? What is coming up in love for Libra and the air sign on their mind? Upright reverse. Upright reverse. Ooh, one more. Keep coming sideways. Ooh, nine of cups reverse. I see you or them being very unsatisfied. Clap on nine of cups reverse. We're gonna see why. Let's get into it. Three of wands. Clap on nine of cups reverse. Ten, ten of wands and the three of swords. Okay. Some of you, this could be an, a, a Libra on your mind. Okay. Clap on three of wands. You could be waiting for a break. To end, you could be waiting for something to, you could be waiting kind of anxiously or like impatiently about, uh, ooh, mm, who is this, the Libra? Yeah, someone who's not, right, who's not really making a move, who's not really doing much, clap out of chariot verse, uh, someone who's kind of just kind of stagnant, some of you might not even be speaking, clap out of chariot verse. This, ooh, what is the chariot verse? This could be someone stuck in the past. I get this is somebody who's fairly free. This could be uh, Aquarius. This is gonna be Aquarius energy as well. So Libra and Aquarius are kind of the strongest here. Let me see. Let me go into why the Nine of Cups reverse. Why Nine of Cups reverse? Uh, what's coming up for you and this person, this air sign of yours, is you being emotionally unsatisfied. Why the Nine of Cups reverse? And you carrying another Aquarius card. Is this a Six of Swords Libra? Is the Six of Swords Libra? I think it's them. I see you being unsatisfied, unhappy at the fact that somebody is appearing to be moving on from you. Clarify Six of Swords. It's something here about somebody moving on. It may be un like unfortunately leaving you with a heartbreak. Four Pentacles. Yeah, I see you being uh, unfortunately. I see you being left behind, left behind with some sort of emotional baggage and emotional loss kind of burdening you. Clarify six of swords. 
Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, if unfortunately it feels like something may fall apart. You have four, four, four coming up in this read. Clarify the Ten of Wands. You could have been waiting for some, for something or expecting this person to do something, and they just don't do it. Clarify Three of Swords. But I see you being unhappy because of them moving forward or moving on. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, I see you being heartbroken about some kind of movement that they're doing that is in the same breath, keeping you stuck or burdened in the same spot you are you are in or about to be in. I see you feeling like you have to carry this weight for a while. Um, this person, for some of you, if you have kids with this person, this person could have left you with a lot of financial responsibilities um, or a lot of responsibilities with, with the children, whatever the case may be. But I see a lot of like burdening responsibilities. Clarify uh, three of wands. A lot of you were kind of either expecting or hoping for or waiting for an apology from this person. A lot of you just might not even be someone you're talking to right now. A lot of you may have been waiting for a period of a break to stop between you and them and that they would come back and um, give you some kind of love offer. And I don't, I don't see them doing that. Not right now. I don't see them doing that right now. And I see that burden kind of carrying with you. Unfortunately, and kind of look, you're leaving you heartbroken, unfortunately. Okay. Um, and just make sure, what is what is the Six of Swords? Yeah, I just see them kind of appearing as if they're unbothered. Um, whether they are or aren't, it just kind of feels like something is un like It looks like they're coming up kind of like um, single and doing their own thing right now. Kind of staying in their power right now. So this is not to say that they'll never come back, but it's kind of giving, I see you being disappointed in the near future because of the next actions that they take um, that appear to be them moving forward, whether they are or aren't, okay? Um, this could heavily be an Aquarius or a Libra. Could obviously be a Gemini too, but I get Aquarius and Libra the strongest in the street, okay? And this can transpire in April for some of you with the 444 coming out. All right, and for Libra and the water sign spirit, what is coming up in love for Libra and the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces on their mind? What is coming up in love for Libra and the water sign on their mind? That's a lot. Spirit, what is coming up in love for Libra and the water sign on their mind? See if you keep going to pop up. Hold on, let you. Upright or reverse? Yeah. The Four of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Clarify the, uh, the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups. Yeah. So someone is going to be offered a new beginning. Clarify the four of cups. And the other one is not going to be here for it. Is the four of cups Libra? Is that it? Yes. I think it's them. It might be you. Is the four of cups uh, the water sign? Is the four of cups the water sign? I want to say it's the water sign. It might be them. Is that a yes? Oh, it might be you. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, depending on whoever, <laughs> it could be either one of you. For some of you, it's gonna be either way. Um, clap for the ace of wands. What is someone being offered? Clap for the Ace of Wands. What is kind of offer is this to rekindle? So somebody wants to repeat something that has already transpired between the two of you. For a lot of you, this could be a sexual offer, okay? Someone may be trying to come back around to you or you are going back around to someone and somebody is wanting to kind of put the spark or re-spark something in, the, in a connection with you. Now, for some of you, if you're in a relationship and the spark has died, this is somebody wanting to not let go and kind of hold on to the connection no matter how much it's kind of weighing on them or maybe even burdening them. Uh, someone does not want to let you go or you don't want to let someone else go. And they want to like put the spark back into the relationship if there's a current relationship. Now with the four of cups and seven of wands, that is somebody here that is like, no, I don't want this. I am bored of this. I am bored of you. I'm pushing you away. This is not what I want. It's you're keeping someone at a distance or they are keeping you at a distance. Clarify something of wands. Yeah. 
I heard wishy-washy. Someone doesn't want someone because they're wishy-washy. They're on and off. They're back and forth. It's not stable enough for someone or someone is too busy for a relationship or a connection right now. Um, there's something here about something not being stable enough, okay? Or someone may not be as uh, decisive as someone would like them to be. Clarify the page of cups. Someone, with a, for a small portion of you, someone could feel like uh, they're being juggled and they're like, uh-uh, go back to that one, go back to that bitch, go back to that dude. It's kind of giving that to a little bit. Clarify the page of cups. But for whatever reason, yeah. And when someone starts pushing the other one away, they're, whatever reason that they have, they're gonna be, the other person's gonna be like, I'm sorry, I wanna make things right. Like, you know, you're right, I'm sorry. Like, I see someone taking accountability and trying to be vulnerable with the person that's being defensive. <laughs> okay, why the uh, Four of Cups? I get Cancer and Pisces here. Actually, Scorpio too, man. So yeah, all, all the water signs came out. Why Four of Cups? is because someone won't let go. Someone won't stop. Someone won't, you know, give it up. Clever Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone will not give up. Even though the energy is not reciprocated. Uh, now, another side I'm getting here is, yep. Another thing I'm getting here is with the Eight of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles reversed, that's talking about something being one-sided. Now, you or them could feel like you need to reject them or they need to reject you because only one of you was putting into the relationship before. Someone was putting their all into this connection before. Um, and the other one was just receiving and leaving the other one kind of bone dry. Can I find the Eight of Pentacles? So that could be what this is. Someone putting in way more effort than the other. Something is not balanced here. It could be a lack of equal give and take. Yeah, someone is now emotionally kind of trying to walk away or have already walked away because they're tired of being the only one putting in the work. Clarify the Six of Pentacles reverse. Yep, like I said, someone is a taker and not a, not a giver. Someone is not fair. Someone's not balanced. And someone is like, someone's coming back in to be like, yeah, I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, I, I can, we can, we can balance this out. Things can be balanced. I can give this to you. I can do this for you and, and, and try to make up for it. Um, should Libra take this person back or should this person take Libra back? Whoever needs to be the one taking somebody back, should they do it? Should they do it? Should they take this person back? I get benefit of the doubt with this. Page of Pentacles is like the first step. It's not a big step. I wouldn't make too many promises right now. Um, but I would maybe try to give someone the benefit of the doubt, at least for right now. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. Spirit is kind of giving the blessing on that. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, yeah, someone is coming up a little more maybe uh, trustworthy in Spirit's eyes right now. The devil reverse. Yeah, honestly, it's. I don't think you would regret it if you took this person back or if they took you back. I don't think anybody would regret it. I think somebody would find themselves to be with a more reliable and responsible, more of a taking accountability when it's due kind of person. But I think I don't think someone would regret it now. Okay. But yeah, what's coming up for you is someone coming around to apologize and try to make something right. And it looks like they genuinely are trying to do that. Okay. This could definitely be a any uh water sign uh especially pisces and scorpio cancer too obviously but I th i'm heavy talking about i'm heavy on a uh, scorpio and pisces industry okay all right you guys all i have for you today hopefully you enjoy and if you did please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you later bye